What's up guys, it's boy Jay from Jay's Films and what we have here is the KMTB Profit and the Crane 2. Now why would you consider any of these gimbals here? Well, first off, these are the heavy hitter so far that's out right now as far as capacity load wise. This thing right here can carry up to 7 pounds and this thing right here can carry up to 6.6. .6. So these are the top competitors as far as pistol style gimbals right in the market right now so i compare these two for quite some time so today i'm just going to go over some of those things that i care about and just to let you know which one's better now i got some notes here so i don't forget anything like always but the first thing i'm going to go over is balancing now i do have the balancing for both these gimbals using the panasonic gh5 and the gh5s which is technically the same camera so go ahead and check those out they're pretty good at balancing they're really good but if i was to give a winner between the two, I would give it to the KMTV Profit. It's just, to me, it's a little bit more stable when I'm balancing it. It's just easier and faster. And it also has an extra knob right here for the left and right movement of the camera, which the crane doesn't have. So first uh, balancing, I'll give it to the KMTV Profit. The second thing I'm gonna talk about is stability. That's really important. And I don't know, to me, I think like the KMTV is just a little bit more stable and I'm gonna talk about a little bit more why I chose the KMTV. Now size-wise, it is obvious that the Crane 2 is much bigger than the KMTV Profit. Well, it's kind of obvious because it kind of can carry more weight. And it also has this thing here, which is the follow focus, right? So that kind of adds a little bit more weight. But the cool thing about it is the Crane 2 has a built-in tripod-like thing, which if you're using the KMTV Profit, you'll have to buy this little tripod thing here for the legs. I mean, they're not that much, but it's cool that this thing comes with it, but the size is much longer than the KMTV Profit. All right, so for extra features, it is no brainer than the Crane 2 wins this one. My Panasonic GH5 is not compatible with this follow focus ring here with the Crane 2, but if your camera is compatible with that feature, that is a killer, because this thing is a stabilizer and a follow focus control, so. The extra feature wise, it goes to the Crane 2 because the Cam TV doesn't have that whatsoever. Okay, so for software, I'm gonna have to give it to Cam TV Profit. Now, officially, there's no software you can use with this thing. But if you research further, you're gonna find out that this gimbal has the same board as an Alexmos. So you can technically get a software. Granted, it's probably gonna void your warranty. But as far as software goes, that software, the simple GUI, simple BGZ GUI is really good because it lets you customize uh, the weight as far as balancing it. It lets you do a lot more manual customization than the Crane 2. And that's why I said for stability, I pick Cam TV because I can use that software. I'm familiar with that software so that I can take advantage of it. Now for the Crane 2, you have for balancing you may you have that three options of light medium and heavy set that is all the customizations you have if you have any other software that you can use with the crane 2 please let me know but the software for this thing is pretty hor horrible even the app doesn't work for me i have to plug this into my computer for it to work now for this one like i said it's not officially out the simple bgc but if you are familiar with that software man it's just a killer for this with this combination so software came tv profit for the price point the crane 2 is much cheaper but it is bigger so i guess that's really <laughs> where it comes down to uh, it is newer zion is really good at advertising their stuff so zion is a lot more known than came tv you know came tv is also a chinese company but they're just a little bit on the uh the unknown side of things because these guys these guys are killing it at instagram they're really good at advertising came tv needs to work on it but so i'm gonna go with the crane 2 just because my anamorphic setup on the gh5s is so much heavier so this thing has bigger motors and it can carry more load so that i'm gonna go ahead and pick this now what i'm gonna show you now is just the footage of these two just a quick test so you guys can judge i tried my best to uh, shoot with these things uh, both gimbals are really good for the price point I know there's gonna be a lot more of these pistol, single pistol style, heavy duty weight gimbals coming out. There's ICANN, there's the Ronin S. But yeah, so far, these things are out. And uh, let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you guys later.
You can stop and look at that flower up there, like you're close, and we'll rotate around you. There's the Zion too. Crane too. All right, keep walking. All right, go walk. Somebody in front of me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm, this is the perfect place to stop and smell the flowers, huh? Okay. You remember where you stopped? Earlier over there, so I can switch my aperture and stuff. Yeah, the first one. All right, keep walking for me. Same. She walked all the way back to the playground, Mommy. Did she? Brian doesn't eat in daycare. Yeah, Miss Noelle said that she um, she eats a little more than she needs to, but she still doesn't eat very much because she always just puts it back out. Thank you. 
some stuff that here. It's not as far as it is, huh? More bumblebee stuff. Mm-hmm. 